and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of fleet code and geeks for geeks within less than five minutes okay so today's problem of the day is water the plants which is a medium level problem but i think it's a bit on a harder side uh, it's a bit typical problem okay so let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one array of length n in time it will be denoting the length of the gallery okay so what will be there in the gallery so gallery is basically denoting the indexes and at each index there is a sprinkler okay there can be a sprinkler or there cannot be a sprinkler so if it's minus one it means there is not a sprinkler okay and if it is two it means there is a sprinkler which can cover the range of i minus range and i plus range so if it is two so it means it can cover from minus one index to this index okay so till this it can cover okay if this is two so it means what if you will see here it's written i minus x to i plus x x is the range okay i if it is 2 so 2 minus 2 0 so it can cover from the range 0 so 2 plus 2 4 it can cover till this point okay now what we have to do we have to tell give if we can cover the whole of the gallery of length n okay can we cover the whole gallery of length n with our these sprinklers if yes so we have to return the minimum number of sprinklers required and if we cannot cover so we will return minus 1 okay all right i think i think you guys are getting the problem I think you guys are getting okay so if you will see here if look if i will use this as sprinkler so how much can i cover can i cover till this point yeah i can cover because it is two index so uh, for four index till the right side and till zero index at this so with this one sprinkler i can cover till this point now this is zero sprinkler so how much it will cover i that is my five so five minus even five plus it means five index it can cover so this much indexes were covered by this two sprinkler and this zero will cover its own index so we can cover the whole gallery with two index two sprinklers okay so two will be our answer if you will see here you will get that minus one uh, we cannot uh, cover this okay so i i've written something for you uh, so the problem is how are we going to solve this okay so as usual i have written something for you so now let's jump onto the notes section okay okay so what are the plants so how are we going to solve this look we will be going to make a list of array and each at each index of the array list okay at a list so in list uh, as we know we can make a list of type integer of type string in the same way we are going to make a list of array type okay so how what are we going to store in this array so at each index of the array so basically we will be having two length of that array and uh, uh, we will be having the minimum range and max range of that sprinkler so what i'm going to say look if i take this so uh, in the uh, my array list i will be having some arrays so at each like suppose for this two array what we will be having we will be having the min range of it min range of it is what two uh, at index one so one minus two uh, that is zero we can say okay because there is nothing less than zero and one plus two that is what three so three index so this is the min range for it and this is the max range for it okay i think you guys are getting so i think the first point is clear what are we going to store okay all right so in this way we are going to make a array list now if the sprinkler is equal to minus one it means there is no sprinkler at that point if we are saying seeing this minus one it means there is no sprinkler at mine at zero index okay so we are not going to include that sprinkler into my this array list okay all right i think we are guys are going great now our target is to irrigate all indexes till n so if i can irrigate all the indexes means all these full array if this is uh, one of the array and i can irrigate the full full array array so it means uh, we can irrigate and we will return the minimum number of sprinklers required okay all right so what we are going to do we are going to start from zero and now we make a list and each layer in the list we have the min and max range of each sprinkler so we are going to uh, sort the list on the basis of minimum range so that so that what i'm going to say is look uh, if i got the minimum range i let's say sort the uh, array list on the basis of minimum range so if i will start look now let's do a dry run first of all so here there is no sprinkler what are the sprinklers the sprinklers are this two this two this zero and this zero okay all are these sprinklers so my target is zero i have to cover the index zero first of all okay i have to cover the index zero first of all so with this there is no sprinkler okay so i will move forward this two i got this two so can i cover this zero index with this two range sprinkler so what's the range of this its range is zero two three okay zero to three so yes i can cover my target zero with this zero uh, with this sprinkler okay so now how, how what's the range i can till, till i can cover with this sprinkler till this point okay so with this sprinkler i can cover till this point all right so i will move forward i will check that if there is any other sprinkler with which i can cover my zero target i can cover the with this zero target okay so yeah oh i got this one with this sprinkler as well i can cover this zero target okay all right now as i can cover this but now what's the max range till what max range i can cover i can cover till this max range okay 
I think you guys are, are getting this. So now you will see that, okay, till this point, my uh, indexes are covered. Okay. All right. So this sprinkler is used, uh, is not required anymore. And we are using this sprinkler. Okay. So now what's the next sprinkler? This. And now what's my target? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now my target is 6 index. I have to find a sprinkler who can cover my 6 index. Okay. So this 0 index, no, it cannot cover. Okay. It cannot cover because it can cover only it itself. So now I move forward here. So I got this 0 index. What's the minimum range of it? 6. And what's the minimum range of it? 6. I'm talking about the indexes. So yeah, I can use this. I can use this sprinkler to cover my this target. Okay. So what's the two sprinkler used? This one and this one. Okay. Now when I will move forward, I will be out of the index and we will found that, oh, I have uh, irrigated all of the, I have uh, irrigated the whole array. So we will return the two sprinklers. Okay. I think you guys have got this. Now let's find a case where we cannot irrigate. Okay. Here. Yeah. So look, two, three, four, minus one, two, zero, zero, minus one, zero. So as usual, I told we will be having one array where I will be making some ranges. So for this two range, I will check my target is current zero. My target is zero. Let's write the indexes for it as well. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay. So current my target is 0. I will check. Can this 2 uh, um, range of the sprinkler can cover this? So what's what it can cover? It can cover till 0 index, till 4 index. It can cover till this point. Okay. Because 0 plus 2, 2. So it is this index it can cover. All right. So I will move forward. I will check if there is any other uh, sprinkler which can cover my target. So yes, it, this can cover my target three as well. So what's the range for it? Max range. Oh, I found that. Oh, it can cover till three index. So covered. Let's take a covered. So till the three index, my uh, it is covered. Okay. Uh, my array is covered. Okay. All right. So now uh, control by. Now I will check if there is any more. Uh, what's this irrigator uh, sprinkler which can cover my target zero, and it can increase my cover as oh yes I got this four. So with four. Uh, my target is covered and what's the max range for it 0 to 4 6 so you will see that it can cover till this 6 point okay so now 6 point is covered okay so i will do something like 6 so 6 till 6 index it is covered okay so now i will check if there is any other uh, sprinkler which can cover the zero index and i can increase my coverage as well so i will find two okay two so can i will with this two i can cover this zero index no because what's the minimum range of it till second index okay uh, four minus two two so we cannot do so we have got one sprinkler okay we have got one sprinkler and uh, which can cover till zero index six index so let's find out another sprinkler so look this is not a sprinkler now i will found eight so what my target now my target is seventh index till six index it is covered my target is seventh index so i will check no uh, can this eight cover my seventh index because well, seventh index there is no sprinkler can this eight cover no how can eight cover eight can cover itself only it eight can cannot cover seven so oh it means i cannot cover my seventh index so if i cannot recover my seventh index i will return minus one which means all the indexes cannot be covered okay so this is the way so yeah i think the problem approach will be clear so let's jump onto the code section for it and write the code okay okay all right so let's first of all create one uh, list of array let's name it as uh, anything let's name it as yara new array list something like this okay and after that i will start from here for int let's let's fill this error first of all okay let's fill this so for int i equal to zero i is less than n I plus plus and uh, so if my gallery of i is greater than equal to it is greater than minus one it, if it is less than minus one so it means that no uh, there is no sprinkler so i will not add it okay uh, so it means i've got one sprinkler so now arr dot add new int okay so uh, what what i'm going to add in the two index as i told it will be something like i minus gallery of i which is the minimum range and i plus gallery of i which is the max range oh sorry let me plug that as well okay so yeah i and uh, something like this okay so now after that let's sort it let's sort as i told so i will use collections dot sort arr and a comma b 
a of 0 minus b of 0 means we will be sorting them on the basis of the minimum index the min range okay so yeah that's it now let's find out int for my answer my answer will be what answer will be currently 0 0 answer will be how many sprinklers required okay and uh, after that my target is currently 0 okay and my i equal to 0 which will be i using while iterating so while my target is less than n okay because if my target is equal to n it means i have covered all the arrays okay so 0 1 2 3 4 5 so if i will cover this 5 then my target will be 6 if target is 6 it means all these are covered okay so yeah now here i will check if look if my i equal to arr dot size if it is like this or 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 what or or uh, i can write something like arr dot get i 0 is greater than target what does this mean this means key suppose i have to cover seven index as i as i shown in the last example here. suppose i have to cover seven index this index okay this index i have to cover but here it is zero it means it can cover this index only and cannot uh, cover this and we have already sorted so if this in this one this sprinkler cannot cover this zero it means none can cover so we will be returning minus one okay uh, something like this and after that if it is covered so i will be calculating the max range as i already shown you so max range will be something like yeah, R dot get zero first index okay now i will try to maximize my max range so i will be going to write something like this while i plus one is less than arr dot size and guys please sit with a pen and uh, paper and please uh, try to replicate this okay so arr dot get of i zero i plus one sorry zero it is less than equal to target so that my target is getting covered till this point as well okay and uh, yeah i will do i plus plus and my max range will be what max range is er max Mac dot max of max range and arr dot get i one okay so if i'm not doing i plus plus here so i can do it later as well all these things are same and now look again i will say so if my max range is not covering the target okay if my max range is not covering the target it means nothing can cover so my target will be remain empty and i will return minus one otherwise uh, the target is covered so now i will be setting the new target and and i will increase my answer by plus plus it means one sprinkler is used now okay and after that it's very easy just increase the target equal to max range plus one means till max range is covered now i have to cover the next index after max range so max range plus one and i will do i plus plus so it means next sprinkler will be used now and here let's return my answer okay that's it because minus one cases we have already covered let's try to compile this now and i hope it might get accepted please okay oh okay uh, one semicolon is missing here and yeah one more thing uh, uh, it's not like this only single uh, something like this let's compile this actually i am too used to javascript now but yeah i think it should get accepted now yes let's submit it and guys please try run it once with the help of pen and paper so that it will be crystal clear to you okay and it's a tough problem by the way okay so i've got the geek bit oh i attempted this in the first one only okay all right so yeah thanks everyone please subscribe the channel because it took a lot of effort and please like the video share your feedback and uh, yeah i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye and and please subscribe the channel